So for today, we're going to be looking at Zer's Exotic Dare, which is essentially a series that I started last week where each week when Zer comes, I have to make fashion around the three exotics that he sh he brings for each of the Guardians. And this week, it was uh, Shards of Galliner for my Hunter, uh, Antaeus Wards for Titans, and Karnstein something for the Warlock. I'm sorry. The, I might be a little salty because Karnsteins were just, it was horrible to fashion around that. But let's get right into it. So my hunter, obviously, like I said, Shards of Galinor is what I was going for. But I did put Blued Steel ornament for it just because I think it looks a lot better. Not only that, but I really like how this came out. This is an old armor set that I've uh, used before, but I wanted to share it with you guys because um, the only people that have seen this armor set are most likely the people that follow me on Twitter. Uh, if you guys don't know... I post a lot of my fashion stuff on my Twitter, so if you guys want to follow me, I have a link in the, in the description. But first and foremost, we'll be looking at the Way Lauren's Iron Mask. This one is from Season 3, so Warmind, so this is actually not available anymore, unfortunately. If you do want to uh, make uh, do this look, you will have to have had this unlocked. The cool thing, though, is if you don't have an Iron Banner helmet, then you actually can buy it with uh, actual synthweave stuff in now. They fixed it, but you do have to have it uh, actually unlocked, as in like you've had to ha have gotten this at that season. So unfortunately, you can't get this anymore. Uh, we'll go through the shader later, but for the arms, again, blued steel. That's the ornament that I got for it. You could use the new ornament, and I still think it would look really cool. The only thing is, uh, I was, well. If I'm being honest, I was going to, I wanted to match this with this right here, the cracks. It's not that good in my opinion. If you really want a good shader that combines well with this, uh, with this glow, it's going to be, uh, the Gambit, uh, Celadon or whatever it's called. That one actually does really, it does a really good job at doing it. If I can find, uh, anything that glows. So as you guys can see, it gives this really red look. Uh, I'll show you guys later. But essentially, that's really it. Uh, for the chest piece, it is the Solstice Vest, which is from 2021 Solstice of Heroes, if I remember correctly. No, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Uh, so I have the chest piece and the boots, just because I feel like those two really match together. Oh my god, did I? There we go. Uh, so I, obviously, they match really well. Unfortunately, this bottom plate right here is attached to the legs. So that's why I kind of had to put them together, because I didn't want... To not have that together and I think it looks really cool obviously it's a whole set but this is kind of one of those situations where I just I, I wanted to put it and this is an old uh, an old set that I that I put up for the fashion contest like a while ago so that's also another reason why I put it together last but not least we have the Lux cloak which is probably one of my favorite uh, cloaks in the game just because it looks really cool and as for the shader, we're actually using the Vanguard Metallic. So, this one is uh, an old one. Yeah, dude, this is from fucking uh, Forsaken. So, I don't think this is available anymore. But it's really cool. I very much love this shader. It's unfortunate that I don't use it a lot more because it's really cool. And, like I said, if you guys want to actually match that glow, let me, let me put some stuff on so you can actually see it better. Because <clears throat> it is actually really cool when you match that glow. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, I'm trying to put as much glowy pieces of it as I as I can, so you guys can see. Because it's really cool. I least suggest that's actually what I was gonna go for, but I was like, nah, it's fine. So I actually do think this glow is a lot better with it, <clears throat> in my opinion looks really cool the, the cool thing is though for me personally is that like there's so much there's like orange there's yellow so you can really combine any glow that has yellow or orange in my opinion so you guys can really go all, all out if you guys really want i mean this this look doesn't look bad but i i don't know i wouldn't do this one so yeah uh let me know your thoughts in comments below guys <clears throat> like i said this is like probably one of my my favorite looks that i have for my hunter right now but let's go on to the titan so this is my Titan. I actually think she came out pretty good. I, it's so hard because the Antaeus words are really like really rough to like fashion around, but I think Muffin Bandit did a really good job with his. I'll have the, 
the Twitter picture that I found in the description or in the comments below because I think his came out really cool. I didn't want to copy him like exactly because I think the chain and the helmet combination was just so perfect. I was like, I was so mad. I was like, fuck, dude, I should have thought of that. Um, but I did want to use the helmet just because the helmet does really lend itself well to the Antaeus wards. And I ended up using the arms because the arms actually came out really cool with it. I actually do fuck, fucking love it. The chest piece, on the other hand, I also do love this chest piece. But I feel like... Like, obvious, honestly, just like the, the, the chem flesh plate, all of the chem flesh just would look fire with all of this. With the Antaeus wards, honestly. But... I didn't want to use three pieces because at that point I'm just wearing the armor set and I still think this looks cool as fuck but if you if you're like not Tony that doesn't look cool at all bro go all in I would probably do the cams look all the way in because it just looks so cool like honestly I'm not trying to like meme here it just looks super cool with it, it it's the fact that like there's this like material here that makes it look like it's like fucking bro breaking apart or kind of like different armor pieces that's what makes it really co good in my opinion is the fact that like it's very rough and detailed and like that so that's why i think like those two really work like that armor set really works well with it but <clears throat> yeah let me know your thoughts and comments below titans let me know for the helmet like i said i'm using the ken flesh helm uh had to use it it's so good same thing for the arms chem flesh gauntlets the reason i use this is because i wanted to use something that's looked rough and weathered uh because antaeus wards are literal rocks so that's why i used it for the chest piece again like i said sunblake sunbreak plate i loved it i love it it's one of my favorite chest pieces for the titans it's just unfortunate that i couldn't find something that was a little bit more weathered and also kept that like bulkiness in the back because that's also what i wanted i originally wanted to use this one but it's a little too clean for me to combine with antaeus wards speaking of antaeus wards that's what i'm using unfortunately there's no ornament for this because i would put that shit on immediately because i actually hate the antaeus wards look it looks cool it just it's it's rough when something looks cool but you can't fashion around it because it's just like it's way too like detailed kind of i guess and for the mark I ended up using the Solstice Mark. If you guys are wondering why there's no glow, it's because I have a, a what's it called? The Ice Magic. I forget what it's called. Off the top, Stasis. I have Stasis on it, which means Stasis has no glow for this one. So that's pretty much it. Titans, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love it. It's so fucking cool. And let's get on to the Warlocks. And for Warlocks, we got Karnstein's, what's it called? Karnstein armlets. So, unfortunately, I couldn't find anything really cool with the with the arms or anything because, again, arm exotics for, for Warlocks are just like, okay, cool, so, like, we're not trying anything cool today. There's there's exceptions to the rule, obviously, like, Claws of Amkara are really good just because they take a portion of the arm, not just, like, this where it's just the forearm, the specifically the those arm oh, fuck i forgot the arms i just talked about the uh class of ahamkara they go like up to like down here bro so like they're like well 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 past your elbow they, they're really cool to like make uh armor sets out of but this one is just an l so this is what i came up with i was going with a spiky look because down here kind of reminded me of spikes so for the helmet we're using the wrath trail hood <clears throat> it's one of my favorite helmets from from the Eververse for Warlocks from Season of Dawn. For the arms, we're using the Carnesino uh, armlets. I fucking hate these gauntlets. They look so bad in my opinion. For the chest piece, we are using the Prodigal robes. I wanted to use the Prodigal robes because they actually did look really cool. Not only that, but a lot of the robes have a problem with the arms. Where there's just this really big chunk. Oh, that's a perfect one. There's a really big chunk of plate right here that just looks fucking weird. So that's why I actually combine it with the prodigal robes. If it was up to me, I would wear something that has a little bit more spikes to it. But like I said, that gap right there is really bugging me. So that's why I have these chest pieces. For the legs, it's legs of optimacy, just for that little spike down there. I'm going for spike <laughs> spikiness, so that's why I'm going with this. And then last but not least, the Triceratops uh, stuff from Halloween. Overall, I do like it. Like, definitely like it. I just think uh, it would have been better if I put it with something else for the arms other than that yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below warlocks i apologize that this was this one was a little bit faster than the others it's just that you guys got really 
it's very unfortunate that Bungie removed your shoulders from your arms. Like, if that wasn't the case, dude, can you imagine, like, this plating up here for the Warlocks? I, I don't know. It's just unfortunate. I really wish that Warlocks got their shoulders back. Or just made something else. Like, maybe the arms also affect something else. Because this, this is bad fashion, in my opinion. Like bad ideas so let me know what you, what you guys think in the comments below warlocks i apologize again i apologize but titans warlocks or titans and hunters i think y'all came out pretty cool so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys later